Hey, here's a short video about my uh, new smart home integration. Uh, I do have a smart things hub in the house, uh, which is currently hooked up to a bunch of uh, smart switches, uh, smart outlets and all of this stuff. And uh, recently I did replace all the smoke detectors throughout the house. I actually have four of those uh, distributed in different rooms and floors. And uh, it uh, got me thinking that uh, it would be both cool and useful to be able to get notified uh, through my uh, smart home system whenever one of those uh, triggers an alarm. So uh, this is something you can uh, also achieve using one of the commercial uh, house alarm systems uh, when you have it hooked up to a central. But uh, this is both really expensive to install and to have installed and uh, you also have to pay a fee every month for uh, have them monitor your house so uh, i figured i could just uh, come up with something with my smart home and uh, this is what i did right here so uh, i just hooked up this uh, this old stuff in here uh, the art of it is this this thing right here which is uh, called an sm120x module it's actually a relay that uh, can connect to uh, one of those uh, uh, smoke detectors. Uh, this is a kitty small de small detectors, but I uh, I'm pretty sure that about uh, all the uh, the brands out there made this kind of relay for their, their detectors. So uh, I bought the one for the brand that I have. I have it hooked up here and what this thing does is uh, it actually acts as uh, just as a no normal detector but uh, this is obviously not the detector but it uh, gets the the trigger whenever one of the uh, linked uh, detectors triggers an alarm so uh, all my detectors in the house are connected uh, on AC power and have uh, this red wire that uh, links them together and uh, have them uh, be notified whenever uh, one of the other triggers an alarm. So this thing does the same. And what I did is uh, hook it up, hooked it up to uh, this right here, which is uh, uh, just an uh, EchoLink uh, Z-Wave uh, door and window sensor. So this thing is just a normal sensor that you normally put the uh, close to a door or a window and you have this little magnet here that goes on the door itself and when the door gets closed it just uh, triggers the relay inside and you get notified so uh, what is cool about this particular one this echo link one i'll put the links in the description is that you can uh, wire uh, directly to some terminal the the triggers so let me just show you uh, inside of you, you have those two terminals, and when you short those terminals, uh, the uh, the sensor gets triggered. So I hooked up the the relay from this uh, this thing here to the terminals of this sensor. And uh, since this thing also uh, normally works out of a battery, uh, I also uh, hooked it up to a little transformer here. Uh, to have power directly from AC, so I won't have to worry about the battery. And uh, so this is what uh, this other thing here is. This is just a little transformer. Uh, this one was uh, rated at eight volts, but uh, I did uh, remove the prongs and uh, uh, hook it up directly to the AC coming to this wire. And uh, in the same time, I added the 3.3 volt regulator inside. So the 8 volts DC that comes out of this normally is regulated through uh, a little chip. I don't have it right here. This is I think it's called an LM1117, uh, which is a, a little chip that just regulates uh, whenever DC it gets uh, up to 15 volts and you get a steady 3.3 volts uh, out of it. Uh, I did use this stuff uh, in um, some other projects and it works pretty good. So. I do get AC in here, uh, it powers this relay. This relay, uh, when it gets a signal from a smoke detector, triggers a relay that goes to the sensor. Sensor is powered by this transformer uh, through the 3.3 volts regulator. And when this one is triggered, uh, it just sends the Z-Wave signal to my smart things hub 
and I get the notifications. So let me just make a quick demo here. Uh, this right here, this is the Smarting application. So uh, I'm right now on the smoke alarm uh, uh, screen, and I did wire this smoke detector just for testing purpose uh, directly to this uh, cable here that I'm gonna just plug into this outlet here. So this little chirp meant that this thing is now powered. And uh, let me demonstrate that when I will hit this uh, test button here. Uh, it will trigger the alarm and this uh, this whole thing will get uh, in action and I will get the, the notification on my phone here. So uh, what you hear is... So, see here, uh, it didn't turn blue, which meant that uh, the, uh, the sensor was triggered. So uh, of course, now that it's uh, on, the, on the application, the smart things up, uh, I can do whatever I want with this thing. Uh, so I will probably have it uh, just send me a notification through email or SMS. So uh, that's it. I just put the, the whole project into this little blue box here. Uh, this is a, a box that I 3D printed actually. You could just uh, go out and buy some at the local hardware store. But uh, I recently got a 3D printer, printer so uh, I was just having fun printing it. So I printed this cover here. Uh, and this will be mounted uh, using the holes and some screws uh, in the attic, uh, attic close to my uh, uh, smoke detector on the second floor. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and uh, just see the description for links to all the stuff that I did demonstrate here. And if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Thanks.